Okay, back on the RAM. Back, back on the RAM. Um, I have an electrical issue. I don't have a left turn signal or brake light on the trailer wiring. Um, it's common on these. Uh, these trucks are made for pulling, so they don't have a wiring harness that's tapped into the tail lights of the truck. It has its own wiring that goes all the way to the fuse box. So, I did some research. I've chased it down last weekend and uh, found out that I have no power. There's a plug. There's a plug right there. See the plug? Okay, so I have no power coming out of there. On the left turn signal, everything else seems to work. So come to find out, this fuse, this fuse panel, if you were to buy a new one, it's, uh, I was reading, a couple people said it's up to $700. So the fuse, these relays, they go bad. There's three of them on here. One for the left turn signal, one for the right and one for a stoplight brake light. So all my fuses are good. So upon further investigation, the relays are underneath here. They're in the circuit board. So this has to come all apart. I mean like completely apart. I have to pull it out, unplug everything, and um, uh, pretty much break all these little plastic, break those out, separate the uh, fuse box and, and replace the relays so the relays came in today and I'm gonna start ripping this apart I'll take the battery off here uh, yeah like that that's seen better days um, Wow and I will uh, get this out and then we will uh, get further investigation on this um, I guess there is a couple of screws somewhere there's this plastic thing here and this pops forward feels like there's screw somewhere I'll figure it out I'll bring you guys back all right starting to rain uh. This might end up being a, a tomorrow project also, but uh, this snaps has, once you remove this little plastic screw, that one right there, then it has these little clips that, that slide into the battery box, and after that you can just lift it up, and then uh, basically disconnect all that. and then go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and figure out what's next. Uh, I'll try to get this thing out. All right, guys. Okay, so here is uh, here's the relays. Got it out. It's got a few little plugs on the bottom. Um, the relays, I will say they're probably in here, but who knows. This has to come out. All that's got to come off. All the fuses, everything's got to come out. Luckily, uh, here's where it goes. Here's where it went. All the plugs. There's a couple. Um, Trailer wire. It was this one right here. That was the one that has no power. Um, this plug. Of course, the little thing broke over here. That was taking it off. But anyway, it's got everything here. Tells you where all the fuses go and what amperage, and so that's nice. I'm just gonna set this down because it's starting to rain. And uh, I'll get cracking on taking this thing apart. Clean up a little bit, and then uh, I guess I'll do it right here. I'll try to get this cleaned up some more. So 
so I'll bring you guys back when I get this thing uh, more taken apart. Okay, got all the fuses laid out. Uh, next thing I need to do is break off these little plastic uh, tabs that were melted on. They, they melt those on there and then it holds the, uh, the top part on. So I'm going to get to breaking those off. Um, maybe just a screwdriver in there and pop them. And then uh, we'll see what's next. I think this comes completely apart. So we'll get there. Let's see. Okay. So once I broke all the little the little plastic piece, there's little clips, if, I don't know if you can see it. And it's holding on to the outside. See, right there. There's a good one. It's holding on to the outside of the case. So I'm trying to work those off all the way around. There's one right there and right there. And then there's a little tab that metal piece hangs on to. So I'm working on getting that out. And then uh, we'll see how much further we got. Okay, you're on the tripod. So you're going to be taking this off the same time I am. So we'll see exactly what's going on inside. Get to the relays here. There, I think I got it. heavy. There. There's the relays. Right there. Those are what I got to take off. Here's all the uh, the plugs attached to. And of course this has to come apart and there's different plates see all those have to come apart so let's figure out how to get this off I think just a little at a time here There. Plate number one. Here's where all your fuses attached to. All the blade fuses go in here and kind of kind of cool. If you want to just ever see that that looks like. take this thing apart this has to come off now and I don't know if I could just I mean look there's a ton of these things in here different layers six layers just to unsolder these I guess we just do it one at a time here. I don't think I can just separate all of them together. I don't know if they'll just come apart. Maybe it's just plugged in. I think that's what it is. It's just plugged in. That's exactly what it is. They plug in. That's nice, then I don't have to separate all of it.
set it off to the side. That's what I need to get to. Right here. Let me get some something to clean this with. Um, get soldering on this. Desoldering. I have a couple of things. And here's the the new ones, the new relays. These are Tycos. 20 amp, 12 volts. I'm going to upgrade it. I found out if you upgrade it to a 30 amp, and then I guess the fuse is actually too much amperage. It breaks the... Uh... Oh, you can hear it. Listen to it. I guess that's not supposed to be that way. So that's my problem. All right. I'll be back. I'm going to get my uh, copper braid or a solder sucker, and I'm going to try to take one of those off, and then uh, um, we'll see what happens. So just, uh, I guess, uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'll bring you guys back. If I get one that's uh, decent, um, maybe I'll, I'll video it. So hold on. Let me see if I can do this, as you can see. You don't have to focus, that's cool. There it is, there's one. Okay, so actually what I'm doing, I got the epoxy off. I don't know if you guys can see here. I'm trying to get you in film. I get a screwdriver in behind it. Melt the solder. As soon as the solder melts, it's difficult. And then uh, once I get it worked out, then it slowly comes out. I don't put much pressure on here. It's hard to do. Solder melted. See, as you can see, a little bit, maybe it's a little bit higher on this side than it is on this side. So then I just I slowly work it off, and uh, that's what I've been doing. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I get them all off. So just uh, hang tight and I'll get some more done. Let's see if I can get this in the shot. Oh, there it is. That's the bad one. And then I take this after I zoom out because it's kind of zoomed in a little bit too much. And I'll, uh, I'll clean the holes up. solder gun in here and get these holes cleaned up. <laughs> Blow the solder out of it. <laughs> Maybe. Okay guys. Two down, one to go. But this was the broken one for sure. That, that's the one. Oh, it's fixed. Should put it back in. Yeah, right. So, all right, I'm going to get this last one out, clean the holes up, and then we'll start working on getting the new ones put on. Okay, let's get these soldered on, guys. Let's see if I can do this.
Come on, baby, you need some solder around here. Uh oh. There, there's one. Solder. Come on. There's the second one. I'm just going to go down the row, down the line here. And then, uh, then we'll do the top. It's zoomed in a little too much here. Hold on. Let me back you up a little bit here. Oh, no, 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 no. Repositioned here. Get you repositioned. I need to do that one. That one, which is kind of out of screen. Not anymore. If I bring it in a little bit, will you guys get blurry? Oh yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, let's work on this one here. Daycares picking up their kids. You can probably hear them over there. My kids used to go over there. It's actually my cousin's house. You guys probably know that. I like this one here. So there they are. All soldered on. Now we'll get this thing put back together. That's too bad there wasn't a way I could just actually test them. But uh, it's in. So we'll start putting this thing back together. I'll bring you back. There we go. Pull it out. All right. I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me see, there's a stud right here. Okay, let's go to this one. Uh, those are the little tabs I broke off. I went ahead and drilled a hole and uh, went into my RC stuff and I got a couple of uh, small screws. So we'll go ahead and put the lid on this. This slid all back in. New relays. Everything slid back in. I'll put the fuses back in and we'll reinstall this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on there, and then uh, put it back in the truck, and then we'll, we'll have to check it out. Just reverse reverse order putting it back in, so it's in. Um, got some wires here, and got someone did a for the bully dog chip, but everything's in. Oh, I got to hook up the battery. Let me. Let me let me hook that up and I'll, and I'll come back. All right, let me see if I can maneuver this. What do I do with my lid? Oh man, man! All right, let's put the lid on it. Let's uh, test it. 
think I got the, the test light in the in the truck. Fire it up. Turn my light off. I got my keys. So what was happening was I uh, I didn't have a left-hand turn light signal. Radio? Wipers? And the other thing is the 4x4 light is on. And it's not. It's in two-wheel drive. And when I put it in four-wheel drive... Watch. It's four high. The light goes out. Too high. Light's on. So it's like opposite. So I'm um, not sure what, what's going on with that. There's the bully dog. Tells you your intake temperature. It's 75 degrees going in. Got engine warm up. Coolant's at 82. Intake's well 80. What that shows. Of course, RPM. No boost. Boost down there. All right. Let's go take a look. Oh, I should probably turn the turn signal on. Let's go, uh, that's the one we're having the issue with. Let's check it out. Hope you can hear me, it's not too noisy back here. Back around. So, I don't know if you can see that. Left hand should be the left pin. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, there it is. Left hand turn. Let's go check the right. Just to make sure. Try this other exactly the other side. And there's the right. I got trailer lights. Cost me uh, 20 bucks to replace those relays some time. Instead of spending 700 for a new one, it is fixable. Alright guys, uh, another video wrapped up. Cool. Uh, you'll have two videos to watch. All right, we'll see ya.